All right, guys, we're so excited. I got my four riders, super pumped, and we are going to draw a name out of this clutch cover <laughs> for who's, who's going to go first. So um, what we're going to do is it's going to be between Danny and Mark for first and second, and then third and fourth is going to be here. So I should, um, let's pull out, let's see here, this one, and there's only four names in here. <laughs> give me a second, give me a second. Uh, <laughs> all right, so it's got to be this one. All right, all right, so. I'm gonna let uh, Danny here. He's gonna pull one of these names out for first or second here. Who do you got? Who's going first? Mark. Okay, Mark's going first. <laughs> we got Danny going second. There you go. All right, Jared, pull this out of here, buddy. Who's going third? Dun, dun, dun. McCoy. McCoy. Going third. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I'm so go. excited. So it is like 8:50. Riders meeting is at nine, and then after that, this thing's gonna get sung. So we're super excited. <laughs> we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys. They just finished up the riders' meeting. It's um, it was pretty basic, normal stuff. They actually kept it short and sweet, which is cool. I'm probably more nervous uh, just because like I have a lot lot in this, and like I don't want to mess it up for the guys. So like I'm just as nervous as if I was racing, because I don't want the bike to fail on them. So that's why we built the second bike. I just want to make sure everything goes good. So Mark's going first. He's getting his gear on. They said it's actually super muddy out there, and I'm so thankful because Mark and Danny and Jared are such good mud riders. So I'm pretty excited. So. Um, it's going to be a really, really fun day, and we'll keep you guys updated. All right, guys, they just sent him off the line. My stomach's in a knot. Ooh, feels good. I'm so proud of Mark. So. They sent them and I was filming a friend and so the leaders just came through the woods over here and uh, Mark's all over the guy for second and first place isn't that far off. So it's first lap super early, but I'm so excited. So we'll see how it goes guys, stay tuned. Yeah, Mark. Woo! Let's go buddy. All right, guys, so Mark came in two laps in. He's third overall, super excited. Mark came in, he goes, the bike has a really bad mid-range bog. So we're like, well, we didn't hesitate. We threw Danny right on the practice bike. I don't know, I just feel like we're doing this. We want to be competitive. If it's bogging, let's fix it. So Danny just went out on the second bike. I know we're only two laps in. Bike didn't break, we're just trying to fix it. So we just raised the needle up. It was second from the bottom. We went up two more, so it drops. We raised a clip, dropped the needle. Hopefully to help that mid-range out. So we're gonna change to a different air filter. Um, it's ready to go. So um, we just got the gas tank back on, and whenever McCoy goes out, we're gonna send him right back out on this bike, and we'll go from there. All right, guys. So Danny just came back in, and he brought in the second 125. He says run like garbage too. So. I've never run race fuel before, and I, I think we messed up. So what we're doing is we're chasing jetting. So um, we hadn't chased a jetting on that one yet. That was still stopped. Sorry, just waiting. And um, so this got, the, the clip was raised two times. Went one size smaller pile and one size smaller main jet. So we're gonna send this bike back out and see what McCoy thinks. We were able to flag, not flag him down, but get a response from him, and he said it's better, but not great with just the clip moving. So we're gonna keep changing it and see what we can do. Alright guys, welcome back. Oh. oh, they're excited. So the music just turned off down there so we can do another update. Mark is out there right now. We're still killing it. The guys are in fourth overall, but we're third in the pro class. Super excited. Um, things are going great. We're still running the two bike program. Obviously we wanted to run one bike, but um, 
waiting for that bike to go by. We've got the jetting figured out. So um, we went down to a 170 main and a 45 pilot, and we raised the clip two spots, and both 125s are ripping right now. That music just turned on, so it's really loud. And Danny's up next. Mark has um, like 12 minutes left before he comes back in, and Danny heads out. So these guys are all riding so good. I'm so proud. Uh, McCoy just set some blistering fast laps. And then, of course, Danny, Mark, and Jared are just like, it's just, you know what's going to happen. So really excited about it. We're fourth overall. We're so close to that A team. What's funny is uh, we had one team pass us, and uh, Mark saw him come through the pits, and then Mark was next to go. And if you know Mark, when he gets a helmet on his head, it's like game on. So Mark saw him go through like four minutes ahead, and you could tell when Mark shifted, he was ready for it. So we'll see how he, if he catches up to him a little bit, because I know Mark will. And uh, that's just an update. It is nine, almost 9 o'clock. Is it? What is it? 7.30? Oh my gosh, it's only 7.30. But we actually put a light on uh, Mark's helmet. And Danny's got a light ready too because uh, the pine tree sections are already getting really, really dark. So um, lights are already going on in the helmets. So thanks for watching. And I'll, I thought that was Mark. I was getting scared. It's not. But we'll keep you guys tuned. We'll see you soon. All right, guys. A little race update for you. It's 1.30 in the morning. McCoy is about to go out. Little Dan should be here at uh, 1.40. Oh, there goes some water off that tent. And it's starting to rain a little bit, but I think uh, McCoy's going to get the most of it looking at the radar. He's actually riding the 2023. And looking at the radar, the next hour is going to get the most rain. There's a ton of people here. They're all kind of scrambling to get their pits picked up. There's one row there. There's six rows of pits that look like this. So 100, 178 teams total. We're currently still um, third overall, which is super cool. We marked past back into third. And little Dan's doing a great job keeping it there, so it's going to be a pretty good challenge for McCoy to, to ride in this because it's not only rough from 14 hours of racing, but now the rain. So I've got a good group of riders, though, so really excited. The next hour is really going to be challenging, but we're excited. Go. Take Dude. your time. Okay. Bye, buddy. How are you, dude? I think that's the most fun that I've had riding this whole time. Yeah? It is. Dude, you're fucking killing it. That, that would have been like a 37 minute, I think, or, so, or somewhere in there last time. Ran out of roll off. And I couldn't see, I kept on wiping my light off, but then I'd get mud on my hands and then I'd get it on the bars and it was slick. You had the gnarliest turn. It rained the whole time you were out there, it's, dude. It's, it was better when it was raining because it wasn't, it was super sloppy. Now it's getting super freaking thick. Yeah. I can tell. I bet. These guys packed up. They're gone. You need see. I wasn't gonna tell you. Right here, they're gone. These guys quit. Yeah. yeah something happened to their a bike. bike. One bike failed out. Like there was a team right here. I I I no 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 no. I, he went to bed. and I'm like I'm gonna wait for Mark to wake up and see it. We're officially in second overall. We're in second overall right now. Yeah. I felt good that time. <laughs> That's sick. What is it right now? Do you know what time? It's got to be like 3 o'clock, I think. It's roughly about 3. Yeah, yeah, it was 2.50 is when you were supposed to come in. A little after 5 a.m., starting to rain again. And McCoy's sleeping right between the tents down here. He's passed out. He's got some protection, though. I'm not going to wake him up. So hopefully it doesn't uh, rain too hard. He's kind of right, right on the edge of the tent there. Greg's been helping me get a great job keeping these bikes going. We're scraping mud like crazy. It's awesome. We're almost there. So we're still in second place and uh, it's pretty awesome. Mark's out there now. Mark just threw down a 38 minute lap time, the fastest lap currently running, even with the other pro team down there. So pretty exciting. It's uh, four and a half hours to go. All right, guys, welcome back. This is gonna be the final update during the race. It is, uh, we're a little past eight o'clock. So less than two hours to go. Really close with the Sportsman A guys. So they just, we had like 20 minutes on them an hour and a half ago and they closed it up to we only have a two minute lead right now over those guys we're safely like top three no matter what happens here because there's uh, we've got like three or four laps up on fourth place already so what's going to happen is uh, mccoy's dad just went down and if mccoy mccoy's running really good heaters right now if mccoy wants to go one more lap then then he's going to do that lap and then i'm going to send mark out for the final two if McCoy doesn't want to do the third lap, which because nobody's done three in a row today, and I'm not expecting him to do it, it's just if he wants to, then if he comes down, then Jared's going to hop on, and we're going to keep the normal normal routine after that. So 
We're kind of playing it like if McCoy chooses to go out, we're going to try to set some fast burners to hold off those A guys. If, uh, if McCoy comes in, then we're just going to do normal things. So that's the funnest thing about racing. After 23 and a half hours, it's going to come down to like two or three minutes with these A guys, which is super cool. Um, flags have been holding up great. I don't want to curse it uh, because we got like four or five laps to go. So. Um, can't thank Greg enough, McCoy's dad. Neither of us have slept tonight. We've Every time these guys bring the bikes in, he is awesome. He's helping me demud these things. Every bolt that we can find that's loose, he's been awesome. So super thankful for him. Uh, that's let these guys pretty much like pass the bike off. They give us a report and they just run in the trailer, hopefully, and kind of fall asleep in the rain. So that's the last in-race update, and we will talk to you guys here in a little bit. Tell we're approaching the 24 mark here. Riders are coming into the pits this way. Totally to see they're right there on the corner. Hopefully we can get to a steam so they keep rolling. Friggin' Jared comes in, passes me the transponder. Poor kid's on the ground. He just ran a 29 minute lap. He stepped it up so big. Jared is running like 36s. On the last lap he knows, he knows what's going on. Freaking throws it down. We just sent Mark out probably two or three laps to see how it goes. It's getting really tight. Uh, yeah, buddy. Uh, He's right there, buddy. He's right there. All right, guys. Lap and three minutes left mark's about to come through there's been a lot of confusion if they can pit on the last lap we were going to give mark the option of letting mccoy go out for the last lap we're allowed right we're allowed, we're allowed to pit allowed. on the white okay it's been really the confusing flag. they said no so we changed the strategy we're going to yell at mark when he comes through you're like that mccoy's ready if he wants it mark was wheel to wheel with the the open a guy that mark caught mark caught him oh so so cool um we'll see what happens Oh my god, is that really Mark? Oh my god, it is Mark. McCoy's ready! McCoy's ready! He's not doing it, he's not doing it! Oh no, oh Mark, holy smokes! Oh. So here's the deal, here's the deal, here it is, so here's, there, there was second right there. Mark just got by him. So, is he pitting? Is he pitting? That's the question. He's pitting. No, but here's the bigger question. Was Where's the leader? So that wasn't white flag though. There was no white flag there. So that's two, so there's, they're picking it up now. So that means Mark and that kid both caught and passed the overall leader for another lap. Yo, he went by. I can tape you if you want to All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> Mark wasn't gonna. Sorry, I haven't slept in a long time. Uh, Mark wasn't gonna quit, and uh, he just passed the kid, so pretty pumped. There we go. I can hear it. Come on, buddy! Ah! Got it. Right, smart. Are you in front of that smart thing? I can't keep making these videos. I don't know how to handle it. So here's what happened. On adjusted time, they were still beating us, right? So Mark caught him, passed them, but there was like a minute that we had to make up. Long story short, we didn't want Mark to do four laps at the end. That's not fair. So McCoy is in the pits. Well, he's on the bike now. McCoy should be coming through here in a second. The other team sent out a super fresh rider, super fast kid. He comes through the finish line with a white flag a second ago and he stops. He just like shuts his bike off and he's like, takes his goggles off. Like, I don't know if he, his Jared, I'm gonna stay next to Fortner. And he's like, his bike's got issues. So not only, dude, it's gonna come out of the wire because yeah. he stopped that minute that we needed to make, make up. Could have been, yeah, McCoy was already out of the pits. Dude, I thought this race was over. Like, like there's like 19 endings to this race. And it's, it's just, I don't, I don't understand. So 
the There's the overall leader. That's how far they've got these guys. They're they're like four or five minutes. Oh, he's getting the checkered. The race is officially over there. But we got McCoy hopefully coming through here soon. And we'll see what happens. So you just saw McCoy go by. If McCoy can get a minute, stay a minute in front of this rider, we could be second overall. It's so cool. It's coming down to the wire. I don't understand it. I don't know if this is their guy. You're going to see it right here. They're going to let him know. This is their guy right here. Here we go. We'll let you know what happens. Yeah, buddy. Go, go, go. So 24, 18, 28. 18, 32, 33, 34. We need that to say 18, 19, 32. Or nine, nine, we need to say 1932. Dude, it's coming down to the. We had to beat him by a minute on adjusted time. That was 32 seconds when he just came through here. He, he wasn't expected to come through until 21 minutes. No, uh, in like six, seven, eight. I don't know. We, I, I think if I'm thinking right on adjusted time, we have to beat him by a minute. By a minute ahead. And it was 30, it was 33 seconds. 22, 23, 24. Dude, literally like five seconds here. I don't hear a bike, do you? 31. Dude, I dude, this has to be it. It has to be it. He beat him by a minute to the line and it's over a minute now. No way. 40, 41. This is well over a minute. I've been recording for a minute 23 alone. It was only, they only started one line behind us, right? Yeah. Two. Two, but, um, but two lines behind, but it's 30 seconds, a, yeah, 30 seconds a line. Dude, McCoy freaking ran away with it. Where's that kid at over there? Dude, no way. No way. Dude, 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 you did it. You got it. Dude. You did it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude. You got Heck it. Yeah. Good riding, dude. That was insane. Heck yeah. So you, haven't, absolute you haven't ridden that bike all day. No, I put it all on the table. <laughs> yeah. All just the did, bumps, dude, they were trapped out. I was like wide open, like oh. on the front right. On a 125. Was a pack. That's all I wanted was to beat them. Dude, what do you, what do you think of that bike? It. Second overall. Dude, I popped right on it. It was awesome. Dude, you haven't <laughs> even ridden it. You're such a Not even dude. tired. Look at you. Jeez and right. Juice, <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, I'm going to have a hard time. You were freaking full Dude, good wide. ride. Good, good ride. ride, dude. 43 laps. Woo! Yeah! Good job. Is there anybody you guys like to thank or anything? Yeah.
right, guys, that's a wrap for the 24 hour race. We are, we had such a good weekend. It's Monday afternoon. Shop was crazy busy today. I sold seven machines. I can't thank you guys enough for supporting our shop. And a lot of beta parts orders came in today. Thank you guys, truly appreciate it. And this is just the end of the video. So this is our 125. This is that brand new 2023 that we rode. Bike had 20 miles on it. We rode it around the house just to check it out, load it up and raced it. And this bike over here was a used 2020 that we took in on trade. We never, we didn't know the history of it. We'd never ridden this bike. We literally rode that bike for half of the race. Guys loved both of them. And I, I can't thank my friends enough for how hard they rode. Like the end of that race, there was four laps to go. They wanted it. Like Jared dropped a super fast lap. He went from like a 36 to a 29. Mark went out there and rode three laps. Nobody had done three laps all day, all night. And Mark goes out, we're telling him he can pit. He doesn't want to pit, that's Mark. He goes out for a third lap. And then the guys pass the leader so they don't even get the white flag. Like all of this stuff is just, our adrenaline's pumping and McCoy's sitting there in the pits on the bike. McCoy hadn't ridden that bike, the 2020 all day. He'd been sharing this bike over here with Mark sitting there mark comes in mark's like i passed him and mccoy as you can see in the footage previous he's like i wasn't gonna let him beat us and that is so cool like just the adrenaline and and the fun factor like i said we didn't have to beat those guys for second in the pro class we already had that locked up but the guys wanted second overall and props to their team that open a guys those guys are all super fast super fun hanging out with those guys so again thank you for watching our video we'll do a wrap-up video of these bikes i'll get the guys together just have a fun sit down more like a pod podcast style thing. We've never done that, but we'll try it. And so thank you guys. We'll get these things washed up and we'll learn more about them soon. Enjoy and thanks for watching.